Okay, so for this video, we are going to start sewing on our plastic canvas here. So the plastic canvas comes in large sheets like this, and I just cut mine to be the size of what we want our coaster to be, about this big. And I have my sketch here so I can remember how exactly I want it to go. I also have my plastic canvas needle and my threader. And I have my three bags of yarn that match the colors on my sketch. So I start with my blue and how to get yarn out of my bags is there's this corner that's cut out. So you're just going to pull on there and go ahead and get yourself a piece and cut it off like that. Now, if you can thread your needle, which means putting your yarn through the eye of the needle without a threader like I can, then that's totally cool. But if that's really hard for you, then what you can do is use a threader. So it's just this metal loop and you can bend it so it fits into the eye of the needle and then widen that back up. And it's much easier to get your yarn through this giant hole that you just made than this tiny hole. So you just pull that through there. And then when you take the threader back out, it'll pull your yarn with it, like so. All right, now we are ready to sew. So we are going to start at the corner down here and we're going to go up until there's about a tail right here. Because we're not going to tie this, we're going to hide our little tail inside of our stitches. Okay, so we are going to, however you wanna do your stitch, you can go up, you can go at an angle, you can do little stitches, like if you're doing this, technically speaking, you just want to do diagonal, like one little piece at a time. But since this is your first time doing this, if you want to do like, two or three squares up, you can. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go up like this, hold my tail here, go back down to this bottom square, go up, travel to this square, pull it through. So see, I'm putting my thread inside my stitch stitches. Go to my bottom square, up, diagonal, up two, and down, up, and down, and I'm going around my stitch here, so that way it doesn't all fall out, up, and down, up, and down, because I'm making the bottom of my plastic canvas blue. Up, down. I'm just going to go until my yarn runs out and then I can show you what to do when your yarn runs out. So, sorry this is taking a little while but I want to show you in this video what to do when I'm finishing up. If you want to fast forward a little bit until you see on the screen that I'm finishing up this piece of yarn, you can do that. Almost there. The longer piece of string you cut, the longer you'll be able to go. Okay, it's done. I think I'm just going to go to the end of this row, whether my yarn is up or not. Almost there. Okay, so we're going to be done with this row now, and I'm just going to be done with this yarn. It's pretty small. So what you do, instead of tying a knot at the end, you flip it over, and I have all of these little piece of yarn that I can, sorry, that I can put my needle through. So I'm just taking my needle and going underneath these. So again, this is the front of my canvas that you've seen this entire video. This is the back of the canvas. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to travel underneath these. 
these little loops right here. I'm traveling underneath them, about one, two, three, four, five, six should do it. Somewhere around there, it can be seven, it can be four, whatever. And you just kind of pull it through and it'll take your yarn back to the back here. And then you can tug, snip, and you have a beautifully hidden tail on both ends. So that's how you do one line of canvas. Now, if you don't, you don't have to use this as like the law, like you don't have to do it just like your sketch did it. If you want to change things a little bit, that's okay. This is just so you have like a general plan. You're allowed to change your mind. So right now I kind of have an idea. I feel like it would be really cool if I did a different color, like every three squares. So what I can do is go back to my sketch and make a change. I can say, okay, wait, I have another idea on my sketch paper. What if I did more than that? just the three lines and how does that look okay it looks good on my sketch so I bet it will look really good on this as well all right so you're allowed to change your idea as long as you sketch them out and decide that it looks really good on your sketch all right thanks for watching bye